Ancient texts, from the hieroglyphs of Egypt to the scriptures of the Bible, have been interpreted by some as evidence of extraterrestrial visitations. Could the angels we've heard of in religious texts actually be extraterrestrial beings? Delving into the annals of history, we find the Book of Enoch, a tome of profound mystery and intrigue. The Book of Enoch presents angels as the Watchers, celestial beings who descended to Earth and interacted with humans. Have you ever pondered the existence of aliens and their possible link to angels? This question has sparked countless debates, theories, and even controversies. The existence of extraterrestrial life is a topic that has fascinated humanity for centuries, and the idea that these beings might have a connection to the celestial entities we know as angels is a theory that continues to gain traction. Ancient texts, from the hieroglyphs of Egypt to the scriptures of the Bible, have been interpreted by some as evidence of extraterrestrial visitations. Modern conspiracy theories further fuel these speculations, suggesting that the gods and angels of our religions might actually be advanced alien life forms who visited Earth during the dawn of mankind, and what if these alien visitors were the ones who sowed the seeds of life on our planet? The evidence is elusive, the theories myriad, but the question remains tantalizingly open. Could the angels we've heard of in religious texts actually be extraterrestrial beings? Let's delve into a fascinating story that might hold some answers. The Book of Enoch, an ancient Jewish religious work presents an intriguing perspective on this matter. Delving into the annals of history, we find the Book of Enoch, a tome of profound mystery and intrigue. This text, ascribed to Enoch, the great-grandfather of Noah, is an enigmatic collection of writings that has generated much intrigue and debate among scholars, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike. The Book of Enoch is far from your everyday religious scripture. It's an ancient manuscript that was excluded from the canonical Bible, mostly due to its controversial content. It was considered too heretical, too outlandish, and perhaps too revealing. The book was lost to Western scholars for centuries until it was rediscovered in Ethiopia in the late 18th century. The discovery was met with both fascination and trepidation, as the book's content was seen as challenging to the established religious narratives. Now let's delve into the heart of the matter. The depiction of angels and Nephilim. In stark contrast to the benign, heavenly creatures we're familiar with, the Book of Enoch presents angels as the Watchers celestial beings who descended to earth and interacted with humans. These watchers allegedly taught humans various forms of knowledge like astrology, metallurgy, and magic, considered forbidden. But the plot thickens. The watchers entranced by human women sired offspring with them. These offspring known as Nephilim were giants, beings of immense strength and size. Their existence, while mythical, has been the fodder for many a legend and conspiracy theory. The Book of Enoch's depiction of these beings is fascinating to say the least. It paints a picture far removed from the traditional angelic narrative and gives us a version of events that is both unsettling and captivating. There's much to explore in the Book of Enoch from its controversial exclusion from the Bible to its radical depiction of angels and Nephilim. It's a book that challenges our understanding of religious history and raises questions that we're still trying to answer. The Book of Enoch presents a version of events that challenges our conventional understanding of angels. Enoch, a man of righteousness, had encounters with beings known as the Watchers. These Watchers were not your typical neighbor keeping an eye on the block. Oh no, they were celestial beings, angels, who were said to have descended from the heavens to impart wisdom and knowledge to humankind. Now imagine Enoch, a humble man, suddenly finding himself in the company of these otherworldly beings. It's a tale that could make even the most grounded among us question the very fabric of our reality. But Enoch, ever the stalwart, did not falter. Instead, he opened his mind and heart to these beings, absorbing their teachings like a sponge. These watchers, they shared knowledge that was beyond the grasp of ordinary mortals. They taught Enoch about the movement of the heavens, the cycles of the moon and the sun, the laws of nature, and even the secrets of creation itself. It's said that Enoch was shown visions of the past and the future, a feat that would be impossible for any regular man. But who were these watchers? Some believe they were angels, divine messengers of God. Others see them as ancient astronauts, extraterrestrial beings with advanced knowledge and technology. They watched over humanity, guiding us, 
teaching us, and perhaps even manipulating us for their own unknown purposes. Enoch however did not see them as malevolent, he saw them as guides, as teachers, he embraced their wisdom and used it to better his people. He became a bridge between the heavens and the earth, between the divine and the mortal. However Enoch's experiences with these watchers were not without consequence. His encounters stirred a whirlwind of questions, questions that continue to echo through the ages. If these beings were indeed angels, what does that say about the nature of divinity? And if they were extraterrestrial beings, what does that imply about our place in the universe? Enoch's experiences with these watchers raise many questions about the nature of these beings. But one thing is clear. His encounters with the watchers have left us with a legacy of wisdom and mystery that continues to intrigue us to this day. The Book of Enoch also speaks of a race of giants known as the Nephilim. Imagine beings of colossal size and strength, towering over the landscape, their shadows casting an ominous veil over the earth. This isn't a Hollywood blockbuster, but a narrative found within the pages of the Book of Enoch. The Nephilim, a race of giants, were the offspring of the Watchers, a group of fallen angels, and human women. These were not your average, everyday children. The Nephilim were of such enormous size that they consumed all the acquisitions of men, and when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. Their appetites were insatiable, their actions causing chaos and destruction on a massive scale. The Book of Enoch tells us that the Nephilim roamed the earth in those ancient times, their existence causing a great imbalance. Their presence was so disruptive that it is said to be one of the reasons for the Great Flood, a cataclysmic event designed to cleanse the earth of these monstrous beings. But their story doesn't end there. The narrative suggests that the spirits of the Nephilim became what we know as demons, doomed to wander the earth in search of hosts, still causing strife and discord among humanity. The story of the Nephilim is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. It's a tale that has been passed down through generations, one that blurs the lines between myth, religion, and perhaps even historical fact. Could these giants have been the result of some form of extraterrestrial intervention, as some suggest? Or were they simply a metaphorical representation of the corruption and wickedness that can arise when heavenly beings interfere with human affairs? The Nephilim, Beings of immense size and strength seem more like characters from a science fiction story than religious scripture. Yet, their story has been weaved into the fabric of our culture, continuing to captivate and intrigue us thousands of years later. Their legacy lives on, a testament to the power of myth and the enduring allure of the unknown. Could these stories be an ancient interpretation of extraterrestrial encounters? This question has lingered echoing in the minds of many who've journeyed through the mysterious narrative of the Book of Enoch. Let's delve into this further. The theory we're exploring suggests the Watchers and the Nephilim described in the Book of Enoch could in fact be extraterrestrials. This perspective hinges on the idea that ancient people, lacking the vocabulary or context for advanced technology and beings from other planets, might have interpreted these encounters as divine or supernatural. Consider the descriptions of the Watchers, these celestial beings who descended from the heavens. They taught humanity various advanced arts and sciences, knowledge far beyond what was understood at the time. Doesn't this sound a bit like the reports of technologically advanced aliens we hear today? And then there's the Nephilim, the offspring of these watchers and human women. They're described as giants, beings of immense size and strength, a common theme in many modern-day alien encounter stories. What's more, the Book of Enoch recounts the Watcher's Rebellion, their subsequent punishment, and the Great Flood that wiped out their hybrid offspring, the Nephilim. This narrative of a cataclysmic event aligns with theories of ancient advanced civilizations that met a sudden mysterious end. Of course, the extraterrestrial theory is not without its critics. Many argue these stories are purely mythological, intended to explain natural phenomena or teach moral lessons. Yet. The striking parallels between the ancient accounts and today's reports of aliens are tough to dismiss. We must also consider the possibility that these stories could be both mythological and literal. Perhaps our ancestors used the language and concepts they had to describe encounters that were truly out of this world. The parallels between these ancient stories and modern-day reports of extraterrestrial encounters are intriguing to say the least. As we continue to explore our universe, who knows what mysteries we may uncover about our past, and what implications they might have for our future. The stories and theories we've discussed today offer a unique perspective on the age-old question about the existence of aliens. 
We've delved into the mysterious Book of Enoch, an ancient text filled with enigmatic accounts of giants on Earth, known as the Nephilim, and their celestial parents, the Watchers. These tales pose fascinating suggestions, linking these heavenly beings to what we today might call extraterrestrial life. We've explored the possibility that these angels could in fact be advanced alien species, their heavenly descent a metaphor for a journey from the stars. The Nephilim, their giant offspring, could be the result of genetic manipulation, a concept not too far off from our modern understanding of genetic engineering. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, one thing is clear. These tales, as old as time, continue to captivate us, and the quest for answers is far from over.